Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place 13 Sentinels. Today we're jumping right back into Goto. Hmm. I'm assuming, given the lengths of the other ones, we're probably going to complete the story stuff today and then we're going to go back to battles. This data is... Is that you, Goto? It's been a while. The last time I saw you was two months before my death. Roughly a year ago, I think. Oh, you sound great for someone who died a year ago. Chairman Ogata. An AI construct based on Chairman Kengo Ogata. Why would this be in Morimura's files? I see. So this is how she managed to raise all those funds. She must have used this AI to access the Shikishima Chairman's hidden network. Not quite. I'm afraid that was originally my idea. The good Professor Morimura was only following my orders. So all of this was by design? Your design? Leaking the prototype nanomachinery to the black market? The catastrophic consequences? So you're an asshole. You're the one who exploited her. If you blame anyone, blame yourself. We were so close to losing Project Ark entirely. Now we must prioritize the project above all else. I'll finally have my second chance at life. You were planning on downloading yourself into a clone. A brave new Earth is waiting for me. I won't let you do this. What is Professor Morimura doing now? She's dead. By that hitman's hands, I presume. That's humanity. Dude blew up the life support system. Destructive to the very end. Only a few survivors left now. I give them three days at most. My deepest condolences for your imminent death. Shut up, Construct. Your project is over. Unfortunately for you, the Ark is already set off. It's still within comms range. You don't have clearance. <laughs> I don't know who this can go guys. I like him I control the future of humanity. Not of the survivors. The ones who would have clearance. Assuming that's Ogata's dad, right? So, suppose I am the professor. Oh, we're back here? Then what? I want to know the truth. I want to know the reasons behind all of this. But that seems unlikely. I imagine you're not inclined to tell me anything. And why is that? Do you It'd kind be of a jerk sometimes? If we had all the facts. Considering you're trying to eliminate us. <sighs> From the very beginning, you never intended for this world to survive. You oh. think I'm trying to destroy the world? The green thing. I do. So you think I'm enabling the kaiju now? Even though I've got more reason to hate them than any of you? That is true, at least. You're clearly not on the kaiju's side. After all, they are a threat to your primary objective. Which would be to carry out the plan you formed in 2188. However, that plan may now be untenable. The situation has deviated too drastically. One second. Uh, this? If Operation All Aegis right. succeeds, a world reset will no longer be possible. This operation goes against Professor Morimura's agenda. She will stop at nothing to prevent it. And these are the ones we've already seen. All right, cool. Recall when I brought you to the underground UFO. I believe you said something like... It was out of your hands. Uh, remark in UFO. Recall! Ah, this is the messy UFO that I'm used to. Dead androids strewn about. What are those guys in black suits? Did we eat them? We probably ate them. This is the mainframe of the UFO? Yes. Honestly, Okino-kun, 
You can't take anything else in life seriously. So why do you put so much time into all this? Everyone needs a hobby. <sighs> Okino. Just talking to myself. Loudly, so you can hear. More importantly, look at this mess. Something unpleasant must have happened here. Most likely. Examine. A Shikishima android. Probably left here by Ida-san. Like body replacements for him? They've all been shot. Even the ones External nailing? Damage suggests the weapon was a phaser. I feel like if they were shot, they would have fell down like this one. I guess you're not nailing, you're kind of sitting down. You're nailing. Hi. They're all out of commission. Too damaged to function. I see. Let's get started then. Is it really possible? I have a fairly comprehensive grasp of this system. This abnormality all comes down to the decode, right? I should be able to get rid of it. Why would Miss Morimura push for Operation Aegis if this was an option all along? Well, you said it yourself. She's either being controlled by someone, or she could be trying to save herself. That's not right. <laughs> Hold on. That file system hadn't even been analyzed yet. How did you gain access? I have a senior admin ID. Access privileges for the entire system. You somehow got access to an account that high level? Yes. I have my ways. Yeah, she just shows up, starts crying until they give her what she wants. This is no good. Sector 3's mainframe has been damaged in an attack. It's barely operational. I won't be able to process much here. Well, not much choice. I'll have to send direct instructions to the command ship. Command ship? The mothership in orbit. It can send commands directly to the UFO. Is it? An arc? Some grand design from the people of the future? Either that or a base of operations for an alien invasion. <laughs> the comms channel to the command ship is cut off. Must be hiding somewhere beyond the horizon. Looks like about 35 minutes until the comms reconnect. But we don't have that long. We're waiting for 10 we'll hours for that. Link. Will this fix cut off the Oh no, attack? she's flo she's in a sentinel, isn't she? Not the command suit. Solve the problem at its core. Right? Yeah. However, we can't stop any commands that were already processed. That's out of my hands. Which means we'll still have to deal with the kaiju already generated. We don't know how many the factories have produced. Oh, they're gonna keep producing. If we could just verify their numbers. Hmm. We're going to need the Sentinels after all. That may be best. Operation Aegis is too much of a risk. In other words, the decode's activation is a blow you cannot recover from. No matter how you try to fix it, your plan is irreversibly impacted. The most direct fix would be eliminating the decode. Then, you would just restart the loop anew. A uh, loop! In order to trigger a loop, you need them to destroy all the Sector's mainframes. And therein lies your goal. You want this world destroyed so the timeline can be reset. But you have one major obstacle, and that's Operation Aegis. Uh, Operation Aegis. Aegis isn't just an ordinary defense system. It causes a terminal to seal itself off in self-defense, preventing anyone from using it to control the world. Once all the terminals are sealed off, we'll be severed from the mainframe. Effectively preventing any further loop or extinction. <sighs> but if that happens, your plan is null and void. We'd be stuck in a loop where your goal was impossible. <laughs> what else? Police reports! Let's backtrack a little bit. <laughs> 
we discussed the suspect of Miss Morimura's murder. He's about three foot tall. You ask me who I think carries a rabbit. If you actually are Professor Chihiro Morimura, then I believe you personally murdered Miss Morimura. Did I now? Yeah, I have footage. She was a staunch advocate of Operation Aegis. A thorn in your side, someone in the way of your reset. An interesting theory, if also an incorrect Yeah, it's Highlander. Believe me, I understand why you'd view me with hostility. Certainly Renya Goto was responsible for chasing you out of Newman. Even if it was on Shikishima's behalf, a buyer simply eliminating liabilities. After that, you took the lead on Project Ark. Under Kengo Ogata's oversight. Uh, Kengo Ogata. Kengo Ogata, of course, being Nenji Ogata's father. And Shikishima's chairman, who recognized your talent. He passed away in 2187. His age caught up with him. But the other Kengo Ogata is perhaps more relevant. The one you created after his death using his memories. An AI construct. You were letting it control you. I was just getting advice. <laughs> Dug that out of a log too? Yes. Renya Goto found that AI. The log was recorded in the column. How'd you find all these logs, man? Clone? Once your clone reaches 18 years of age, you set it so that she'd download your memories. <sighs> it's clear this project was not a selfish endeavor. I'm sure you felt a sense of duty to save humanity. But you were also trying to bring Kengo Ogata back to life. So Professor Morimura takes over Chihiro Morimura's clone. And presumably, Kengo Ogata would take over Nenji Ogata's Yo, clone. Yo, rude! That's why you're so intent on sticking to the plan. Certainly, from your perspective, Miss Morimura was expendable. She had to die. Her very survival endangered your ultimate goal. Well, that is a shame. Oh. This isn't ideal, but you know too much. Goodbye. Bye. To be continued. I'm assuming you live. <laughs> uh. Oh, so we have to go back to Taka's. All right. Hi, Taka. Sure. She is trigger happy. You're not wrong. Where do I begin? Yeah, getting a mop or something, well, cleaning up these I androids. Think I finally found what we needed. The answer to our problem. What is it? I'd prefer to handle the introductions first, but... Uh, green? What can I do right now? I have to save everyone. That means I need to stay at Okino's side. Okay. Kind of figure you're going to do that anyways. Well, I guess we're a bit early. The command ship's still behind the horizon. That means still about half an hour until they're in comms range. Now it's a waiting game. Go ahead and explain. Guess I owe you that much. Yeah. You remember our talk about the decode? Something inside that inner lossiter? It's the thing calling the Dimos, right? You got it. More specifically, the important part is its connections to three discrete points. One of those points is the command ship in orbit, which I'll show you here. From that ship, it extracts the data of the Dimos themselves. That data is used to manufacture them in the automated factories in Sector 1. Then the factory fresh Dimos are deployed to attack universal control. And that's how the decode works. So why do the attacks make people disappear? I might actually have the answer to that one. But, well, it'd be better if you heard it from her, the command ship. 
Is she on the community? I thought she, she was in a sentinel because Ida didn't Ida have a thing that would turn off her sentinel. Hey, this doll is moving. That's not a doll. No, don't run towards it. It stopped. Oh, you have command over these? Oh, that's useful. Is this doll some kind of enemy? Must have come from above ground. I'm definitely triggering the voice recognition, but looks like my operation authority has been revoked. Oh. Probably should step away from that, actually. They'll be back in action soon. So I should get a hammer? My commands aren't enough to sh they'll be back in act. Oh, uh You got a gun back here? Hey, go over here too. Stop. Okay. In the name of love. We got to go through all of that again. Guess I got too close and he gave me a hug. Here, you can do that. You can... All right, need to back up just a little bit, apparently. Uh, ready. <laughs> All right, okay. Come over here. Then that bags up. I come back and hide behind Okino. Okay, then I come over here. Hey, another Okino, help. This doesn't look good. You're telling me. We need to go. Something's off. Yeah. What's wrong? That console. Looks like I can only use the controls from there. Uh, you stay here. I'll go set the timer. Hey. Is like a repeat with uh, Iori and Stop. Juro. Okino. Damn it! Why me? Why only me? I have to get back now, or Okino might not. Someone, anyone. I need to find someone who knows how to time travel. Uh, I don't know if you heard talk of it. It's not actually time travel anymore. Kitaro would know. Kitaro's Sentinel could also travel in time. Wait, that nurse would know as well. Okay. Oh wait, 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 green. Uh, oh, yeah. I know what I saw. Just as I was shifting, I saw Okino. And the androids were after him. Yes. I need to get back and rescue him. So the I'm assuming he's all right, seeing how he's in the Sentinel with you in the battle. The leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but desperate times call for desperate measures. If what Kitaro said is true, the Sentinel's capable of time travel. So if I can take it back from the government and Shikishima, Maybe I can use it to save Okino. Okino was looking into that teacher. Maybe she knows something about time travel. <laughs> uh, depends on when this is taking place. Go to the cafeteria. That is hardly the time for a snack. What? What? Oh, okay. I thought we were just gonna go look for people. I can't seem to find that teacher. You didn't even go in the school. Hi, female student. Excuse me, miss. And there's something I need to ask you. Uh, sure. What's up? Do you have yakisoba pen? Um. Oh, uh, Miss Morimura. I'm looking for a teacher named Morimura. Do you have any idea where she might be? Uh, you need to find Miss Morimura. That is what I said. That girl's giving me the shifty eyes back today. there. Really. Of all time, she had to be gone during an emergency. I'll have to look somewhere else. Uh, hi. What about Itaro? I'm looking for a boy named Miura. He'd be wearing a school hat. Has he been around here? 
a school hat. Oh, you mean that middle schooler kid? You've seen him? Is he in middle school? Uh, sorry, I don't really know anything. But you might want to talk to one of our track members. Like the girl behind me, not Where wearing any pants? Them? Around now, she'd probably be at the rest area. Understood. Thank you. I have one more question. You've been in the area for a while, right? Seen any suspicious characters? Sharp eyes, acting fishy. You. <laughs> yeah, right in front of. Uh. uh never mind. <laughs> hmm? All right. Goodbye. Uh, to the break area, I guess. Hi. Uh, I would like to ask you a question. Oh no! Never mind. I gotta talk to you. Do you have a moment? Why aren't uh, you wearing pants? For what? Uh, Sekigahara? I'm looking for a shady guy who looks like he might start a fight. Me? Have you seen anyone like that around school? Uh, yeah. <laughs> really? I'm talking to him. <laughs> anyone else? <laughs> well, there's oh man, also you sounded so him. defeated there. All right, how about this one? I'm looking for Miura, a boy with an old school hat. Any idea where I might find him? A school hat? You mean Natsuno's boyfriend? Natsuno? One of my friends in track has a boyfriend. And he always wears this super vintage looking school hat. That's him. Do you know where Why he is? Why do you look like you're about to punch her, man? Hmm. He wasn't near the athletics building. I do remember something. Oh, I've seen him around the old school building. The old school building? So, the wooden schoolhouse? That would be the old school building. Thank you. Much appreciated. I will treat you to a yakisoba in the future. Is that all you need? Yes. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, to the walkway. To the windows, to the walls. Reminisce. Okay, now. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, um, this is for you. What's this? I really like you. What are you doing? Don't be crazy. I, I... Gotcha. Deja vu, huh? A little bit. Isn't this where I confessed to Nenji Ogata too? That seemed like it really got to you. He attacked him from behind, screaming, be "Get away from out. my girl!" So, you idiot! You thought it'd make me happy for a man to confess to me? Guess not, huh? Oh, now he looks pissed. <laughs> All right, to the wooden schoolhouse. Also, for a second there, I thought you were just having like a flashback to a dream you had. Nobody here. We didn't even look. Huh? Hi. You? Wait, maybe. This was the correct area to search. It is here. Wait, that's... Hello. You're the scout unit that was with Sekigahara. Why do you have this? Who are you? That's an edge hand. Hakatoshi-san. Let me... Take you. Here? Now? Let it's very inappropriate. Oh, okay. Ugh. What? Who exactly are you? Taro. How do you know about Okino? Television broadcasts and command ship transmissions. The Yuki Inaba used them to inform me. Natsuno, he will need it. Oh, 
Sure. Here. Oh, a gun? Absolutely. What is this? It's a gun. A phaser. Or a phaser. You will need a weapon to neutralize the androids. Some kind of future gun? It literally looks like I a, a freaking a pistol, man. Laboratory. It was designed based on data from the mainframe. Natsuno, please stay here. What? <laughs> then let's move. I mean, honestly, with how fast they kill me, how is he still alive? They were right next to him. I mean, he yelled stop, but definitely didn't look like it did anything. I'm on it. Shoot. I don't know why we're waiting so long. Just shoot! You are literally a trained, a, a trained, trained. That's the word I'm looking for. Soldier, you know how to shoot. Is it over? Twenty more appear. Oh yeah. Hi, Okino. You look rather unscathed. Okino. Where are you hurt? <sighs> don't worry. I'll get you to a hospital. Hijiyama kun. Don't talk. I'm here. The letter. Read my letter. No! Hokino! Uh oh, is it an AI in the Sentinel? It's Hokino. an AI in the Sentinel. He's gone. Universal control. Has isolated him. I guess that explains why there's two people in the Sentinel. So they finally made it here. Okino. You don't have much of a knack for love letters. Uh, read! The invasion force is approaching Sector 4. So I'd like to share the Sentinel with you. I hid it in the ocean in Sector 5. It's the one I piloted. Sentinel number 12. If anything happens to me, you'll need access to it. So I made one last adjustment to your body on my own. The Sentinel activation switch is on your left forearm. Activate Sentinel! That scout unit said you were isolated. If you really are alive, if you're out there somewhere, then you're going to need a home to return to. It'd be a shame if it was gone. But it was an AI so, in the Why is he in there naked? I'll my last breath to save it. That's all the reason I need. To mess with Taka? That does seem like something Okino would do. Probably not a good time to mess with him, though. Sentinel number 12. Finally. I was wondering when you'd show up. <laughs> what was that? I thought I heard Okino's voice. You did. It's me. Hokino! You can't see them, but I do still have legs. No ghosts here. So the scout was right. Ghosts can have legs. I'm still alive. Because we shared the Sentinel, you're the only one who I can communicate with. What can I do? How do I save you? I can't go back to that world anymore. I was cut off from it to keep me alive. This was the answer, Hijiyama kun. Remember what we talked about? The mystery process eating up 80% of the inner Lossiter's memory? Our hearing, vision, scent, touch, and taste. It was supplying sensory data, everything we ever perceived. It made everything in that world seem real. 
That was practically its highest priority function. Seem real? You don't mean it was all fake. My home, the factory. The five sectors are not reality. Besides the 15 of us, every human we've ever known, they were created by universal control. That world is a simulated space, a massive, perfect illusion for us. None of it was real. Yeah. These cockpits we're in right now, that is reality. What? My designs for the Sentinels never had cockpits at all. What kind of suicidal moron would get in a 35 meter weapon? You shut field? your mouth. I would. A single punch's recoil impact would hit the pilot like a train crash. So, put pillows in there. Had ways to get inside. I wasn't too familiar with the systems we'd pulled from the mainframe data. I figured it was just a spec I hadn't noticed at the time. But it wasn't even a cockpit at all. They're growth pods, meant to keep our bodies healthy. We were born inside these pods. We have never known life outside but of But that doesn't make... But the... The hair accessories make even less sense now! What about the bandages on Ryoko? I don't know if we can get out. Was it Mira Mira's scar or something he get like surgery for in the past? Quote unquote past we knew. Then we will all die inside these pods. Fat chance of that. I mean there's a good chance of that to be quite honest. Shrewd and infuriating. People like you don't die so easily. No matter what else may change, my <laughs> just kind of had like a fake out death a second ago. I live in service of my country and the people I love. Dog, you know the. Hey, it's like it's not actually a country, I man. Will not let you die. Hey, Giamakun. No matter how this ends, I will always be with you. Let's go. Okay, so they're not cockpits. They're growth pods. To the final battle. I kind of, yeah, I already kind of realized it was a simulation like halfway through this game. Like, obviously. <laughs> That's, but anyways, it's... The growth parts is a little weird. I, I did expect all of us to be real. Though I wasn't sure exactly if it was like Matrix type real. I guess it is, I guess it is technically Matrix type deal. We're in, we're in pods. But that leads to some other questions, like why does she have her bandages in her growth pod? Why does she have her ribbon? Why do they have their glasses? Why does he have a scar? Didn't he get his, like, didn't they say it was a medical, like, military surgery thing that he got in the past? Or something like that? Uh, all right, cool. Uh, we'll go ahead with uh, Goto's, I guess I'm going to assume last part, next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all then. Bye.